Hello there, so here's another uh, little demo on Radar Opus and it's going to be using the search function again um, but before we go into that I just thought I'd show you um, a couple of other things so I find it useful to um, get rid of these toolbars at the top so that I have a bit more space on my screen and you can do that by right clicking at the top and deselecting each one and then voila you'll have a bit more space you can access all of those things from up here generally speaking and you know once you've learnt the uh, shortcuts which you can get to here you'll um, you won't need those anymore so you know it's up to you you can get them back at any time by right clicking and selecting them again there so using this search um, technique I want to view all documents in one list um, basically we're going to be searching not just in the repertory but also in the Materia Medica and the journals and the provings just everything and you know we can use you know exactly the language that the patient has used because we're not trying to convert it into um, a rubric so that can be that can be really useful so um, let's just start typing once you've finished the word you can either press enter twice or you can just press tab and if you click on these drop down arrows here it should give you some options here and you can select some of those okay just to refine the search a bit more make sure that it gets what you what you want okay so those must be ones that I've done recently and it's remembered what I wanted so that's pretty cool it does that so you've got to remember to click on words and select you know within four words or something so that it's not so that it's looking for them together essentially and up here you need to select all documents and away it goes so this can take uh, a little bit of time because you know it's searching through your whole library so it kind of depends on how fast your computer is so as we've got all the documents in one list we can just scroll down and see what we've got there so I draw your attention up here to this button and that extracts so you can see it as a graph okay pretty interesting so far but if we go back to our search tab and if you double click there um, you get rid of the table of contents now what I'm going to do is press F5 and that launches another search um, so we could just put another one in here so same as before type the word press tab type the next word and go to words within four words seems to work pretty well and then launch your search and again you know if there are lots of documents it, it can take a while um, there we go it's, it's doing it quite quickly which is nice so now I just hit the extraction button again and I get both of the results together um, and it's you know you can also click on a remedy and it will launch you a new search for um, that remedy plus the other two um, searches we've got going on and it will show you all the ones with a remedy like a podium there just going to get rid of that for now and put in another search here just keep going with it and see what we get at the end okay just one word for this one and launch search and hit the extraction button okay and back to our search and hit F5 to launch a new one so what you see is you've got separate tabs for each search that we've done and that way the information um, stays together when you do the extraction um, <clears throat> so let's try another one and 
may well have, there we go, let's select those other options there. Okay, and ah, now I forgot to do something there, so that was good. You have to select something there again and launch the search. And now we'll get much more specific results with that there. And extraction. Okay. And so, yeah, if you wanted to, on a Mac, to take a screenshot, this is something um, that you might find useful. It's Command, Shift, and then 4. And you can just drag that around. And you've got that as a screenshot there. And um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you and um, enjoy using that function. Okay, bye for now.